Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your iPhone and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. And that is how do you edit your autofill information on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to edit the autofill information on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're like me, your iPhone has your old address. So when you're filling out a form on Safari to order something online, a lot of times it auto populates with your old address, or maybe you've changed your password to certain websites on the web, but you updated on Chrome and you want it to be updated on Safari for the autofill on your iPhone. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process and it's all handled here in the settings tab on your iPhone. It's this gray gear wheel looking thing. I'm going to go ahead and open my settings tab now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my settings tab here on my iPhone. Be sure to check my video description. I'll try to leave the instructions there as well. And before we move any further, I want to let you know there's actually two places that you need to go in settings in order to edit your autofill information on your iPhone. So let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit further and show you. Okay, I went ahead and scrolled down and then here are the two locations where you can edit your autofill information on your iPhone. The first one is for passwords right here. This is if you want to update your autofill passwords on your iPhone, you'll need to go through here. We'll go through that in just a moment. And the second location, if you want to edit your information that's autofilled on your iPhone through Safari, like your address, you want to do it here through Safari. So let's go ahead and jump into the passwords first. I'm going to click here now. Okay. I went ahead and clicked there next. You can see there's this line right here at the very top autofill passwords. I'm going to click there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're going to see this button right here. So you can go ahead and turn this on or off. Right now, I do not have my autofill passwords on. So if I want to turn it on, I just click right here. Okay, I went ahead and clicked there. Now you can see that I can autofill from passwords on my iCloud keychain and then also on Chrome if I choose to do so. Okay, I just checked it. So now when I'm filling forms out, Using my iPhone, the passwords will pop up from both of these. I don't actually like this feature, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and then we'll continue on. Okay, I went ahead and turned off my autofill passwords. So that is how you can update your autofill passwords. Now let's go ahead and click back. Okay, I clicked back. Now I'm going to click back to settings. Okay, here I am back in the settings. And then what we're going to do now is go here into Safari. I'm going to click here now. All right, I went ahead and clicked in there. Next to what you want to do is look down here under general. There's this button here called autofill. I'm going to click there now. All right, next you have these options. So you can go ahead and use your contact information, which would be something like your phone numbers, your emails, and your address. You can also autofill your credit cards right here. Now, if you want to update your info, you're going to want to click right here on my info and then check to see which contact name is being used. If the information is not correct in your contact info, then what you want to do is go ahead and Go back to your contact list in your phone. We'll do that in just a moment. Also here for credit cards, you can go ahead and update your credit cards and click on saved credit cards and then turn on and off credit cards that are used for autofill on your iPhone. So here on this line, it's going to show your name. As you can see, my name is showed right here. If it does not show your name and it shows somebody else's, then you need to click in there and then choose from the contact list that will pop up. And lastly, let me go ahead and show you how to update your info right here. What you're going to do is want to go to your home page on your iPhone. I'm going to go to mine now. Okay. Once you are here on the home page of your iPhone, in order to update your contact information that is used on autofill, you want to click right here on your telephone tab. I'm going to click on mine. Okay. Once you click there, you're going to see all of your contacts, but what you want to do is look here at the top and it's going to show my card along with your name and your profile picture or icon or whatever it is. Mine's these looks like pink little lips. I'm going to click on there now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and click there. Next, you're going to see all of your email address, physical address, phone numbers that are under your info. This is where the information is pulled for your autofill. If you're going to be using it on Safari, if you need to edit the autofill information on your iPhone that's used, you can click this blue button up here on the top, right? Edit. Once you do that, then you can go ahead and edit the different emails and home address and phone numbers that are associated with your autofill information on your iPhone. So there you have it, guys. That is how you can edit the autofill information on your iPhone. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.